Her now husband Prince Harry designed the three stone ring with the help of Cleve Company, the late Queen Elizabeth's regular jeweler, in 2017. The custom piece has plenty of special meaning too. It features a large cushion cut center diamond sourced from Botswana, where Meghan and Harry spent time together early on in their relationship, as well as two side stones from the late Princess Diana's jewelry collection. What I seem to remember for this topic is that MM borrowed jewelry, as is common in the RF. Then MM lost whatever was borrowed, then never found, nor returned the jewelry. This occurred before her wedding, which put the Queen on alert. Personally, if I had been loaned any valuable pieces, I would have been extra vigilant in ensuring their safety. The other part I seem to remember is that MM was loaned an imitation tiara to use for her fitting with her wedding dress, veil, and hair. I don't think the RF would have had time to have a quality imitation made. So, I would think that there are duplicates of several of the best pieces of jewelry already on hand. Several have even suggested that, unbeknownst to her, she also wore the imitation tiara on her wedding day, too, since she was known to lose things. Not only that, she stole shoes from her Reitman's ad campaign. First she demanded they bring a specific pair and then she accidentally wore them out the door. She has had sticky fingers in the past with acting gigs, stealing wardrobe so it's likely she stole the jewelry from the monarch. That alone would keep me from ever letting her on property again. Things Meghan lost include, a bracelet that was loaned for her to wear to then Prince Charles' 70th birthday party, where she apparently behaved badly stuck out her tongue, and repeatedly told people she was bored and wanted to leave. There is a picture from Australia. Ikina explains her strange walk, as it seems like she walks not on the soles, but on the sides, of her feet. She seems to be trying to hide some items from the paparazzi's camera frames and it makes her steps ridiculously weird. So, had she stolen items from the Australian governor's home, hid them on her shoes, dress, good God? I assume that's why she wanted them to have left their home and let her and her Canadian friends stay there alone, so they could lift all they desired. That's grand larceny. Reminds me of when Doria was checking the bank machine every day for two weeks after she was finally extracted from the castle, and given London townhouse, but that's not what she wanted, what did she lift while she was there? Grifters. Their interesting fact I read recently was the value of many of the tiaras in the royal collection. One of the most valuable was the one M.M. wanted to wear for her wedding and wasn't allowed to, but was given the choice of several others. I always wondered at her insistence on that particular tiara. She would have had to do a great deal of research to find the many tiaras in the royal collection. For someone who's never worn a real tiara in her life. Me included, though I did visit the crown jewels on display when I visited London 35 years ago and even purchased the souvenir book. It seems that wearing any tiara would have been greatly appreciated, an honor or at least exciting. Now, it seems like was she had her eyes on wearing the most monetarily valuable one.